Um, I know, because I've known you a long time, that you have a complex relationship with your mother. Uh-huh. And the <laughs> dossier in this <laughs> month's uh, uh, copy of Psychologies uh, is about our mothers and, and their influence uh, on us. Yeah. Would you like to talk about how you overcome that? Yes. Well, I'm going to talk about my mum for a bit. And actually my dad. Uh, when I was growing up, um, obviously, I was very displaced to various countries, etc. My mum, uh, sadly, in my family, um, we have a genetic disposition to depression. So my mum was a depressive. Um, was undiagnosed for years. My dad has Asperger's, which is high-functioning autism, so he can't empathise or relate. Um, so growing up as a kid, not only was I you know, stuck in boarding schools, etc. When I actually went home, I didn't have parents who could relate to me. Um, and um, I spent, I guess, about 40 years trying to make my mum happy. And she was constantly miserable. And she is like an emotional black hole. You know, the more you give, the more she takes. Um, because you can never fill her up. And it took me a long time to understand that. And um, it took me quite a long time in therapy to understand that, I have to say, as well. But then I got to the point of understanding that, you know, she is who she is. And I either accept who she is or I reject who she is. And um, the only way to have a peaceful relationship is to accept who she is and also accept that I can't change her. The only thing I can change is the way I respond to her. Now, if I respond to her well, then our relationship is much more peaceful. But the other thing I discovered was um, I started talking to her about her own childhood. And I discovered that essentially she'd been stuck in a kid's home when she was two because um, my grandparents were actors and so they were always on the move and they were in digs and um, they were madly in love with each other and so she felt excluded and actually once I learnt that about her I understood that she'd always been a child and so she didn't know how to parent um, and once I understood that it would actually once she told me that I actually cried all the way home because I thought we spent all these years and I haven't understood and I wish I'd known that. If I'd known that when I was in my 20s, I would have understood that she could never be the mother that I wanted.